sir. He would have been drowned if he hadn't, if I hadn't had this plastic shield over his face. And they don't use any plastic shield when they do it for real, and the U.S. has done this. They did this 183 times to one man in less than a month. That's an average of six times a day. It is illegal and it is immoral. They cannot make waterboarding legal. And the people of the world have to stand up and repudiate that. And I tell you what, I recommend everyone read the torture memos and read what they say about waterboarding. They say, this is straight from the torture memos that the lawyers in the Office of Legal Counsel wrote to justify torture. This effort plus the cloth produces a perception of suffocation and incipient panic. That is the perception of drowning. The individual does not breathe any water into his lungs. That's a lie. The whole point of waterboarding is that the gag reflex is overcome and then water pours into the lungs and drowning begins. And then they have medical personnel on hand to stop it if they can and they don't sometimes. And this has got to be repudiated.